What's up you guys? Today we need some new food in our lives. So we're asking strangers where we should eat for 24 hours. We're in Franklin, Tennessee right now. So let's get to asking. Excuse me, folks. Would you know a good place for us to eat? Sure, you can go to uh, uh, Puckett's. Puckett's? Or Meredith's. Okay. Or you can go down to uh, the Harpeth Hotel. Which one of those is your favorite though? I think I would go down to the Harpeth Hotel. The Harpeth Hotel. Are you guys married? Yeah. How long have you guys been married? 55 years. Oh my God, and what's the secret? Be mellow. <laughs> you heard that. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. So we got our first spot. Let's go check out the Harpeth Hotel and let's go see what they got. Come on. All right. So it looks like it's a five-minute... Oh, my God. These oh. people are luxurious. Well, did you see her? She was all yeah, blinged see, out. 55 years of marriage, guys. Okay. We're going to take this five-minute walk, head over to this hotel. Let's go see the grub. Come on. While we're walking right now, so we're in Franklin, Tennessee. Oh, my God. Wait. Before I continue, this is my brand new Tundra, you guys. Look at it. It's a TRD Pro. Damn nice. Okay. Back to what I'm saying. We're in Franklin, Tennessee right now, which is the upper echelon of people who live here in Nashville. This is like the nicer area. This is also the area where a lot of like the old wars actually happened on the grounds here. So if you come out here with a metal detector, you might be able to find some old stray bullets from the Revolutionary War because they call Tennessee the volunteer state because Tennesseans volunteered to go into battle. I can stand by this state because these are some good people. Now, let's go. Too much talking. Come on. Get hungry. All right, folks. So we're here. Let's get on inside and let's go see what their food is all about. Wow, the door is open automatic. So remember, we're going to a fine dining establishment. I hope that my merch is going to be acceptable for my attire. Brennantail.com if you want something. Oh, shit. Damn, this is a nice hotel. This is nice. You gotta find where the food is. I think it's over here. Okay, guys, we're going into a fancy place. Are they open? We're gonna ask the valet guy if he's got some other recommendation. I don't know why that guy would recommend this place if it ain't open. Hey, man, do you know what time that restaurant opens inside? Uh, five. Five o'clock? Yeah. Yes, would you have a good recommendation of a restaurant for us to eat right now? Puckets would be good. Puckets? Yeah, buckets. Okay, awesome. Thank you, yeah, bro. Appreciate thank you. it. For sure. All right, so that's our second person now that said Puckets. So the guy gave us Puckets, but he said this was his favorite. So now we're gonna go back to his first choice, Puckets, and the valet dude's Puckets. So Puckets it is. I don't know. They better let me it. Hey, man, watch yourself, okay? I nope. I'm gonna kick a bucket. And then I'm gonna say, suck it. <laughs> I'm gonna say, that's a little bucket. And then I'm gonna say, I hope you got some chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it here to Puckett's. Let's hope this place is any good. It looks like they do have breakfast, so we're actually starting the day right. Oh, oh wow. Wow, that's a cool looking place. Hi. Hey there, how are you? For two? Awesome. So this place looks really cool. It's definitely like an old timey type of place just by seeing the crowd. But like, hey, maybe they know good food. I mean, they've been around longer than us on Earth, so maybe they do. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's pretty cool. Let's check out their menu. Hey, man, how are you? Very good. Welcome to Puckett's. I need to help you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you guys most known for here at Puckett's? Well, our, our chicken fried chicken is fantastic. That's a uh, two boneless chicken breasts with mashed potatoes and green beans. And, and our bucket's platter has brisket and pulled pork. And, and uh, that's also another. Okay. Are you guys from Los Angeles? Uh, we are born and raised there, but we live in Nashville now. That's awesome. Yeah. Also from oh, oh, you right are? On, yeah. How long have you been here? Right with Glendale High. Oh, sick, sick. Yeah, we yeah. grew up in like Woodland Hills area. Right on, right on. We got an LA native as well here helping yeah. us, so that's good. We got the LA vibe going. I don't know how he knew my hat. the damn hat on your head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, you guys. But the food just got here, and let me tell you, this looks mouth-watering. This place is known for their barbecue, so hey, Screw breakfast, we're getting right at it. All right, folks. So we're really just setting up in the middle of a restaurant right now. I wanna show you guys what this looks like. Hold on, let's get a shot of this. This is why not everyone can do this job. Right, you have to be okay with the eyes and the ears that are gonna come with it. Ugh. But we're just straight up set up on this phone right now. So this food looks absolutely unreal. Puckett's has their own barbecue sauce, which I love when barbecue spots have this. Gives you a little taste of spicy or a little original. We're gonna start with our brisket. I will say the brisket is not as like tender just right off the bat as some of those barbecue spots we've gone to. Some of them I can't even pick it up off the tray, but let's try it. For brisket, it's dry usually. It is really fatty, but I would say like usually I like when it melts in my mouth. This one's not giving that effect. It's on the cusp of being a beef jerky. Right, it's it's almost a steak. It's good though. It's good flavor. But I don't know if the barbecue sauce is just a good thing. Let's jump on over to something that is supposed to be very mouth-watering and very fatty, this pulled pork. Someone said one time that we should try food without the sauce first, and then with the sauce to see if it's just the sauce that makes it good. Yeah, but they're making the sauce for... Like they literally don't put sauce on these things so that you can try it with the sauce. So here we you go. You have to eat it with the sauce. 
Oh, that's pretty good. If I lose my teeth in another life, in my later life, I'm just gonna eat brisket. Which you probably will, Jake, because the way you brush, by the smell, they're coming out pretty soon. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible, Jake. <laughs> it's tender, it's tasty, it's melting your mouth good. The guy made a, 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 a statement saying that the sausage out here are really delicious. I will say it does have a nice, firm outer rim, and I'm ready to crunch into it. Nice little pop. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good, good. sausage. Four dollars for one sausage, though. Tasty. You I mean, gotta think about it, though. Like to make a sausage, there's only a certain amount of like wieners off a cow. There's only one, so they they chop it, and that's why the price of a sausage is so expensive. I don't think a sausage is the wiener of a cow. Where else does it come from? I'm Anyways, I'm moving on. Let's go for our sides. Let's try a side, okay? So this mac and cheese is calling out to my name. It's got breadcrumbs on top. It's looking very creamy. Let's go at it. Mmm, so cheesy. I like that. And it comes out in a skillet, so it's baked, which gives you that little bit of a crustier top on the mac and cheese. Really tasty stuff. What are you looking for? I was looking for my medicine. No, nah, it's too late. It's too late. You've already tasted it. And I love the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs give a little bit of a oomph factor to it. Taking my lactate. I just say screw it at this point. It's like, I am what I am, but I love what I love. I feel that. Before we get to that next side, let's try these ribs, okay? Because ribs are very hit or miss. These are giving me kind of like shit. a... The whole thing is together. How do you even get this apart? You cut it with a knife. Yeah, you can't pull these apart. Nope. These are tough. Yeah, they're like kind of like chili special, you know? Yeah, kind of. Should we try the rib on its own or? You can, it looks like there's a sauce on it. Yeah, it looks like it has a little bit of a barbecue sauce already. I don't know, I'm like chopping through this. I, need I mean, you are using a butter knife. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, damn axe. I'm gonna try it right now. No extra barbecue sauce and just see how it is. Some decent flavor, a little bit drier of a, a rib, but it was maybe cooked differently. You know, they said he has a smoker in the back. I will say our server is from LA, so he might be comparing this to, to LA. LA. I wouldn't say it's top 10 barbecue in, in, in Tennessee. They do have it on the menu, but I don't believe that to be accurate. And last but not least, we have the chicken. I will say, like, I wish they chopped some things up for us. I feel like I'm breaking the, the chicken's bone. So it comes out like a quarter, of, what is it called? A quarter? Like half a chicken. Yeah. Oh, I just pulled the meat right out of this. So maybe the chicken is where it's at here. I'm gonna try the chicken plain old Jane. All right, going barbecue. Oh my, that's fire chicken. Melt in your mouth chicken. I need the crisp of the chicken. Yeah. What sells me on that? It's literally the best skin of the chicken I've ever had in my life. Wow, it's crunchy. Mmm. Oh my god. Do you have it? I want like potato chips mm. on the skin. Oh. Mm. We gotta try this cornbread, we gotta try that. Their cornbread here is a little pancake. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's a miss and felt. Here it's good. I think the only way I can really eat cornbread though is with baked beans or with like butter. butter. So we decided to go sweet mashed potatoes right here instead of regular mashed potatoes and see if we made the right decision. Oh, that's like baby food. It's missing all the, all the butter, it's missing all the cinnamon sugar, it's missing the, the sugar no, to it. No, literally. It's plain like, Jane. Like, what's the the baby food that comes in the can? That's what it... Yams. Gerber yams. Yeah, Gerber yams. Overall, would I come back? Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like, it's definitely a spot, like, I'm not pissed that I'm eating it. I'm not mad at the price that we paid. No. I just, I probably won't return. I think it's like some small town recommendation. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you're, like, passing through a city and they're like, go to Puckett, like, this is what I expect. It's nothing out of the ordinary, nothing special, but hey, we're in a different city, we're trying different recommendations. So, let's get the bill for this, and let's get on out of here and see what else we're gonna eat for the day. It's lunchtime right now in Franklin, Tennessee, and we're gonna go ask someone else. Hopefully we get a good recommendation this time. Let's ask this lady, she's got a colorful scrap. Would you have a lunch recommendation? Uh, I'm not from here. I'm not from here. I'm not from here. I'm not from here. Excuse me, would y'all have a restaurant recommendation? We're asking strangers where they like to eat so we can have a place that we like to eat. Downtown here? Yes. Gray's is always good. Gray's? Chicken sandwich at OBJ. Yeah, OB chicken Joyful. sandwich at OBJ. Okay. And then 55 South has a great burger. All right, yeah. sweet. Those are That's awesome recommendations. Options. Appreciate Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Are you guys filming something? Yeah, we make YouTube videos. Today we're asking strangers their recommendations for what we should eat for 24 hours. Oh, okay. Nice. So. Yeah, yeah, good burger right chicken over there. Sandwich. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. Have a good one. I feel like we almost need to go there, but she was pretty adamant on that chicken sandwich. I know. So, I don't know. 55 South is right here, and it does look pretty nice. So, let's go try a burger, shall we? Let's go. Come on. Always breaking the law. 
You know me, I got that BT merch on, I'm feeling lucky. So clearly not a lot of people are from here in Franklin, Tennessee, but we have gotten 55 South a couple times. So let's go give them a shot. Let's see how they taste, come on. Oh, and we're here. Hey there. For two? Yes, please. Oh, look at this. Oh. It was on diners, dives, and dives. Drives, whatever. If Guy Fieri likes this place, maybe I will too. We're gonna give it its full shot. Let's quickly look up what Guy Fieri ate when he came here and maybe try to get that same thing. So we're gonna try that burger with no mayo. Uh, Guy Fieri was here, right? And he had this jambalaya. Okay, I think I'm gonna have that as well. Did he like it? You get something and you don't like it, you tell me. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> so a bowl of jambalaya, a burger, no mayonnaise. Perfect. And it comes with fries. Amazing. Sounds good. All right, guys, and I'm Debbie if you need anything. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. So we had to obviously try the recommendation of the dude outside because that's what this video is all about. We also have to try and trust the foodie legend Guy Fieri himself. So let's see what this place is all about. And this is Jake's bathroom review. First off, this bathroom is actually rather nice. Not the best lighting, spider webs, but I would be totally fine doing a number two, a number one, a two plus one, a three, whatever you would call it. But I enjoy it. Let's give this a little, little view. Got some antique from someone's bedroom, nice little toilet, some cool paintings. Last but not least, the smell test. <sighs> Smells like fresh air. I enjoy it, all right? Back to the food. Okay, so our food just came here. This is something different than I normally wouldn't order, but because Guy Fieri ordered it, this is it. This is the jambalaya right here. It might be good. Bad. It looks like there's like sausages and rice and maybe a hot sauce. Not 100% sure what's in it. We're gonna find out together. jambalaya usually at fish, but. Yeah, I don't know. This looks like little sausage links right here, so we're gonna figure it out together. I'll let you take a bite first, because it's a burger. How good can it be? Do I do it with the French fry bite? Nah, take that off, because it's got Cajun. It might change up the seasoning right, and the flavors. Let's do it. Let's see what that's about. Mm, look at that cheese oozing out of there. Good lord. It's good burger. That's a pretty good burger. Damn. Mm. Guy, I've never asked for a favor, but all I'm asking for now mm. is that your recommendations were right on with this one. So let's check out what is in our jambalaya. So I'm just gonna go in. Oh. Just a bunch of rice. Looks like, a, like those. Uh, There's chicken, it looks like. Tomato woes. Yeah, spaghettios. I don't know, but let's go for it, okay? So here is what we're working with. Let's try it. Good luck. I'm scared. Lady did say if I don't like it, to let her know. I'm gonna be honest. They're hot. I'm not gonna lie, Nick. <laughs> That's actually pretty damn good. I was expecting like a tomato-y taste, but it's not that at all. Good southern dish. Mm. It's actually tasting really tasty. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, but very mild, very medium. It's definitely a tomato sauce, but they put like red hots or something Yeah, because I'm not really tasting it. too much tomato. I see the chunks of tomato it's in there. It's better than mine. But it almost reminds me, I mean, a better point of view is like a pollo bowl mm. in a different way, like a southern pollo bowl. That if is, if you've ever had El Pollo Loco, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's a pretty good dish. I'm gonna try this burger now, okay? I will say, so one thing I did notice when Jake took a bite of this burger is it oozed out the sides with cheese. So much cheese. I'm jealous that you took that lactate now. Is there mustard in there? Yeah. Oh, good lord. That's a pretty good burger. That's a pretty good burger. The <laughs> mustard makes it actually really tasty. Yeah. I never really would have thought that. It just brings out the, the natural flavors of the meat. The onions give it a little sweetness to it. The pickle gives it a little sour to it. I could say that this place is pretty damn good. I was at first looking at this dish thinking to myself, did I make the wrong decision? I didn't even know what a jambalaya was before I ordered it, but. I think you made the better decision. I think I now. did too. So, so far, not all of Guy Fieri's restaurants that he chooses are bad, okay? Because when we did that video, you guys remember eating at Guy Fieri's, we've realized that a lot of the places he chose were pretty bad. This one, yeah. I could say he did a good job. I just got one question though. Why do you say his name like that? Oh, because I just watched the video and that's how you say it, Guy Fieri. It's not Guy Fieri. Uh, I don't know, it sounded weird. Guy Fieri. <laughs> Wow, that's beautiful music. And if you think about it, Franklin is such a rich area that she's really gonna probably make some good money today. Well, she's just doing it out of the goodness of her heart. Maybe that too, you know, Tennessee is filled with great people, so. It is dinner time in Franklin, and one thing to point out is how absolutely beautiful it is here at night. It's clean, it's safe. Now let's go find someone who's gonna give us a good dinner recommendation. Come on. Do you guys have a dinner recommendation for us? I do, yeah. yeah. Give it to me. 
100%. What do you got? What kind of food do you like? Um, just we want your, your favorite, favorite spot. What do you guys eat here in Franklin? I have three places. Okay, give it, narrow down to just hot one. Dinner just spot. Just one? Yeah. I would go to Colasina. Colasina, okay. Colacina. Something like Colacina, that. Colacina, Colacina. Something like that, okay. <laughs> Depends what it is. Uh, and what kind of food is that? It's uh, wood yeah. fired Italian. Wood fired? Oh. Okay, I'm sold. Really, really yummy. You guys are the best. It's that yeah. way. Thank Don't you. And I'm also asking, are you guys married? Yes, we are. Yes. Okay, what, how long have you been married? Almost 24, 24, 24 years. years. And I asked a couple earlier, what is the secret to a long lasting marriage? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> that is the secret right there. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter, communication. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Honesty, support. If you're a man, then you got to support your girl. Exactly. All right. We well, wish you guys the best. <laughs> God bless. Right, Take care. care. All right. So, wood fired Italian. I'm excited for that. Listen, I'm giving you guys some love tips in this video. We got stay mellow, support your girl, laughter, communication. I mean, these are all good tips. Anyways, let's get over to this spot and let's try some Italian. Come on. So, here it is Colacino, Colacino. I'm not sure either, but I'm down for Italian. So, let's go check it out. Nice. Hey there. Oh, they're a best of 2021. Nice. Congrats. Two, please. No. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So we got our little, like, you know, our freebie, basically. We got some bread and we got some cheese. Jake, I hope your lactate is still kicked in because things are about to get serious here. Me, I just wing life. So let's try it. Oh, look at that. He said it was ricotta cheese. Look at this. Check this out. Nice little spread action. Ooh, that was actually a pretty nice spread. Not that has some interesting texture of that cheese. It's almost like a cottage cheese, but more dry. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to say, maybe I need a little bit of this oil or something on there. But to me, I'm more of like a, a regular cheese type of guy. First thoughts of this restaurant. So far, so good. The only thing I do want to point out is we're basically stuck here at the bar for the night. Like, there is no getting in and out. If you got to go to the bathroom, hold that shit because it's not happening here. It's worse than a spirit airline. Yeah, like, look at this. Our so walkway. You have to throw it. This is like the only way out. There ain't no way out. And then on Jake's side, no way out. Like, we're, we're stu stuck here. We're stuck. They almost need to put like a little doggy door or something for like me to crawl something. I need to like get through the bar. I don't know. I'm gonna have to jump on the bar and jump out. It's getting crazy, but hey, maybe it's, you know, we didn't have reservations walking here. We didn't know we were eating at this place, but um, maybe the food is so good that we'll just take a nap here and enjoy it again in the morning. Cause that might be the only way we're getting out of here. Okay, so I got the ravioli. It has veal shoulder and wagyu inside. Definitely has cheese for sure. And I, my lactate, I have to take it every 45 minutes and this is like six hours later, so. You're screwed. I'm screwed, I forgot to bring more, okay? But let's go into it. I mean, it's beautifully plated, nice little ribbons. Let me let's get a little that. bit of sauce oh, okay. in there. Is it as good as the guy hyped it up outside? It is really good. I think what I would like is like, more creaminess. It's like an oil-based sauce, so you kind of like need a little bit more. Like, I wish it had like a little bit of milk in there or something like that to give it a little creamy sensation. But I mean, it's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of like the Trader Joe's ones for half the price, you know, <laughs> for double the price. So I'm gonna try this here pizza. I will say, presentation-wise, both of them have looked really good. That ravioli, when it came out, it looked supreme, but it was lacking in certain areas in which I would normally want my ravioli to look like. Other than that though, the pizza. Okay, so this is where the wood-fired oven comes in place with this pizza right here. This looks like prime pizza. So I'm gonna just try it as is before I put some red chili flakes on it. Let's go for it. So check this out. Oh, listen to that crunch. That's like delicious. All right, burn your send it down. Oh, wow. This is really good. It almost feels like a light pizza because the amount of sauce they put on is not overdoing it. It's not taking away any of the flavor. You get a little bit of that honeyness from the honey that's on it, the sweetness from the honey. You get um, a little bit of a spice to it. So it's a little spice, a little sweet. Really good combination. The dough is like biting into a crunchy cloud. You get a crunch on the first little nibble, and then as soon as you sink in, you're in. This is good pizza. I'm gonna give the ravioli a try. I can see what Jake's talking about with this oil-based sauce. Really interesting. I do, I don't know what kind of lettuce that is, or leaf that is, but it is very pretty to look, look at, to say the least. So here we go. It's 
it's very minimal in flavor. It doesn't have a lot going on for it. I feel like inside of the ravioli, it tastes like a little creamy, some sort of cheese or something. But with the outside is just like, it's rather bland. Like it's not the most flavorful dish. When I was picturing ravioli, I was picturing it like with the spaghetti sauce or like the marinara all over it. But this is totally different. And I spilt it on my shirt. That oil is gonna stain. But don't worry, because I can always pick up another shirt at brennantaylor.com. I mean, it's pizzeria, so I'm eating pizza. It makes sense. So what you're saying is I messed up. What I'm saying is you can have a couple slices of my pizza. Hey. Because it's good. Let's go. Just hold it right. Like, this isn't a, a, a pinch and grab. It's like, I mean, show some support. That's the test of it, you know? I think they're doing good on their sauce and their crust. But besides that, that's all I taste. I don't taste cheese. I don't taste any of the meat. Not really spicy. But it is good. I feel like I, could, I would like be okay to get some ice cream after this. I mean, the reason you didn't taste anything is because your whole damn pizza fell apart before you even got it. This is all the meat right here. No, Try that's, that. That's the backup one. Try this one. Mm, that's good. See? You missed out. You took a bite of just sauce and crust. All right, so let's get the check and let's see how much these little dishes are gonna cost us. Alrighty, folks, so there you have it. We took recommendations from strangers in one of the richest cities in Tennessee for 24 hours. And I can honestly say, I feel like the common folk of Nashville have better taste buds than the rich. I don't know, I said it. Debate me in the comments. But that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, pick up some merch, brandonside.com. Hit the like button. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous.